Hey guys, New Year's Eve is just upon us, and I wanted to give you some tips and tricks on getting the most out of downtown's America's Party, and that's on Fremont Street. And I want to give you some other tips on celebrating responsibly while you're on the strip. Coming up. What's up, guys? Are you ready for New Year's Eve 2020 in Las Vegas? I can tell you one word sums it up, and it is crazy because what they do is they block off the street from Mandalay Bay all the way to the stratosphere, and it's basically just a big pedestrian walkway, and it is awesome. So what happens is at 11 o'clock, people in all the hotels, they flood the streets at about that time, and you won't believe that you are literally shoulder to shoulder with people and you got to like find a space to like breathe uh, because people are just crammed the streets they want to see the fireworks everybody is looking around having a good time they've got their drinks in hand and they're making noise and doing all kinds of crazy stuff and you see a lot of crazy stuff too um, but it's great so people are taking pictures and video and having a great time and really celebrating and it's so fun. I've got some footage I can show you guys and it's really a great time. But I also want to tell you guys some tips and tricks that'll kind of save you from some heartache and uh, maybe uh, preventing you from having a bad experience on the strip while you celebrate. And it's just basically common sense safety things that uh, you should know. Traffic. Traffic is a big thing. It can be uh, very challenging in uh, Las Vegas on that day. You throw hundreds of people together and thousands of people together in uh, on New Year's Eve, it, it becomes very hard to move around. So imagine like a, a football game or a Super Bowl. It's kind of the same thing, but on a larger scale. So it's going to be packed. You cannot drive on the strip. You can't even get near the strip. Uh, so if you're in a hotel or something like that, you have to basically uh, get a Lyft or Uber um, in the back of the hotel or off the strip to get you around to where you need to go. So that's kind of the caveat with that. It's very hard. So you have to make plans ahead of time. You gotta know what your plan is. You gotta know where you're going. You gotta know uh, what times you're coming back to the clubs or whatever you gotta do um, after the fireworks and stuff like that. You gotta have sort of a plan to kind of maneuver around the strip. So if you're coming here, hopefully you do have a plan. If not, you're probably gonna just be kind of hanging out and just seeing the sights. And if you don't have a ticket to the club or if you haven't purchased anything for uh, the nightclubs and stuff like that, chances are you're not getting in. So don't sweat it. If you know some people in high places, maybe you'll get lucky. I don't know. But if you don't have any plans and you didn't make plans for that, good luck. You know what? That's it. I'm, that's it. I'm sick of you people. Right now, if you guys don't treat us with more respect, a little bit of dignity, we're going to pack up all of our stuff right now we're going to leave. If you're going on Fremont Street, there is a cost to go to Fremont Street. Now, it's uh, $35 per person plus taxes and fees. It comes out to about, for two people, $83 and some change for two people. Uh, but that's a good deal because you get uh, the new canopy. They're kind of doing an unveiling and an official uh, unveiling of the new uh, canopy that goes over top. It's like a 4K, uh, super bright. It runs 24 hours. They got Steve Aoki, special guest DJ coming in or, or doing a live stream through there and things of that nature. So they're going to have a lot of activity there, plus live bands. And there's just so much more to do there than just going to the club or stuff. The clubs are basically for... You're younger, uh, 20s and 30-year-olds and stuff like that. Um, so there's that kind of group. But Fremont Street is everybody. It's all like all age groups. So it's a lot of things going on. But here's my tip for you guys. So you have a large group of people that are going to congregate into this small little packed space uh, on the Strip and Fremont Street. So here's what you got to learn to uh, uh, acclimate yourself with is pickpocketers love to 
uh, go to these places and start picking pockets. So they'll snake in and out of its uh, uh, areas and stuff like that, and uh, they will pick your pocket. But the nice thing is that you have police officers that are literally lined up all through the strip on Fremont, wherever. They are there watching, keeping a watchful eye uh, on people and things of that nature. So they're watching what's going on and who's doing what and stuff like that. So they might not catch all of them, but you know, the chances are there's going to be a few people that slip through the cracks. But um, just to let you know, here's some precautions you can take when you know navigating around the strip if you're walking around and stuff like that so first have your stuff in your front pocket or if you have a coat or something like that put it in your uh lapel pocket inside pocket or things of that nature don't put it in your pockets that you don't have any control of or stuff like that they will pick your pocket phones if you put your phone in your back pocket and just walk around they're going to pick your pocket so if you got a wallet back there say goodbye to that too because they'll see that stuff and it's a perfect target for them and uh, you just want to be aware of that stuff best thing you can do is purchase go to uh, amazon and purchase like a lanyard type a uh, phone holder you can put your phone in like a little pocket and maybe some other stuff and you can hide it in your clothing in your front so you know it's there all the time and you can pull it out at any time take a picture or uh, shoot a video or things of that nature and just put it back in that little pocket thing i know it's kind of cheesy it seems like oh you know that's for kids or something like that but you probably save yourself a lot of heartache if you did have something like that so just to let you know that you know it's perfect season for pickpocketers and you know just shady people coming out of the woodwork and trying to steal your stuff what? that's it i'm that's it i'm sick of you people right now if you guys don't treat us with more respect a little bit of dignity we're gonna pack up all of our stuff right now and we're gonna leave <laughs> So drinking and driving, not a good idea, guys. Take an Uber and Lyft. Pretty self-explanatory. You don't really don't have to like, uh, you know, if you're really irresponsible, I really feel bad because, uh, you know, the alcohol, drinking and driving laws here are pretty harsh. So be aware of that. You guys, I uh, hate to see you guys, uh, you know, get involved with that kind of stuff. So traffic's again, again, it's going to be challenging. So take an Uber and Lyft, take your time. It's going to take time to get you from point A to point B. Uh, plan on at least an hour to get to your destination. Okay, so got that out of the way. So you're here to have fun. You're on the strip. You maybe want to go to Fremont Street later or after party stuff. Definitely uh, have a plan for sure. Okay, so drinking on the strip. Okay, you can't have glass on the strip anywhere. You can drink on the strip, but you can't have glass or or like a can of beer. You have to have it in a plastic container or something that's not going to shatter if you drop it, things of that nature. So common sense, right? Or even better, if you have flask or hard alcohol or whatever it might be, that's probably even better. So you can put your pocket or just keep it around or, you know, handy for you. You know, that's probably a good way to do that. You know, I'm not a big drinker, but I'll probably have a cup of coffee, you know? So there you go. That's as far as I'll celebrate. But anyway, okay, so taxis, uh, there's probably not gonna be a lot of taxis around the strip after around, you know, the strip will open up an hour after the, um, the celebration so after 12 wait an hour i think the strip will open up after 1 30 or 2 o'clock last year that was about two so give yourself some time most people are going to the clubs the clubs will be packed if you're drinking or with your friends ladies definitely watch each other and watch your drinks cover your drink with a napkin or cover it with your hand when you talk to people because there's probably someone you know not paying attention and they'll slip something in your drink I don't know. Maybe you like that stuff. I don't know, but be careful of that. Look out for each other if you're with a group, okay? If you're not a fan of huge people or huge crowds, excuse me, not huge people, but throngs of people. Uh, what I meant was if you're not a fan of that, this probably won't be your kind of celebration because there's going to be a lot of people out um, for New Year's Eve. So if you are into um, 
bad behavior or if you want to go uh, assault somebody or get into a fight or feel like the, you uh, when you drink you have to get into some sort of fight here or Vegas or something like that I have to give you a fair warning um, there are going to be lots of police around so if you're a fighter or or you just want to uh, you know because there will be a lot of people around a lot of different personalities so you might not mesh with people and you just don't let things go uh, chances are the cops are going to grab you and they're not going to let you go. Okay, so give that um, some thought and uh, don't be picking fights with people on the strip. You shouldn't be doing that at all because it's very frowned upon around here. Uh, it's, it's not good. All right, so um, just keep that in mind. Now, the fireworks are going to go off at 12. Right when uh, 12 o'clock hits, everyone's going to sing Old Lang Syne and the fireworks are going to go off. So no matter where you're staying on the strip, you're going to see some sort of fire firework going off so caesars is where i was last year near the link promenade which is across the street from caesars and the best location for fireworks in my opinion probably is going to be the stratosphere stratosphere is about uh, 230 to 300 dollars to get up there per person if you've got that kind of money to go up there it's not a bad view because they shoot fireworks off the stratosphere as well plus you see the whole city's fireworks going off as well you're actually looking down on the fireworks which is a pretty pretty cool sight other than that guys um dress for the weather it does get cold here so have something uh warm like a you know this is a gator you put around your neck and wear that uh have a ski hat uh it does get cold it'll be probably be below uh 40 to 30 degrees uh in that range for new year's eve it does get cold so and girls with high heels wear sneakers if you can um, you know, if you're going to the club afterwards, maybe go to your hotel, put on, change your sneakers to uh, your high heels um, after the fireworks. It's very uncomfortable. It's very cold and you're going to be walking a lot. So that's my little tip for you guys. And also, you know, dress warm. You know, this is not, this is no joke. Uh, I had to wear layers and I was still cold. So be aware of that. Okay, guys, that's my little tip for New Year's Eve uh, 2020 in Las Vegas. You know, um, it's pretty cut and dry. You know, be safe, uh, be courteous. There's going to be a lot of people around. Keep your belongings in your front uh, body you know your front body parts uh, front pockets preferably uh, know a plan where's a back where's a backup plan if uh, you lose your friends or something like that meet us at such and such a point or the Caesar statue out front or or wherever it might be but uh, have some sort of plan where you're gonna meet uh, have an escape route um, you know uh, plan on a long um, routes to wherever your destination may be after that because it's going to be over 300,000 people uh, in this small packed area and it's going to be hard to deal with even after the fireworks are done people are standing around and they are scurrying to get the clubs and all that stuff so you get the idea it is uh, literally it's fun but it could be a mess at the same time so it's kind of crazy it's kind of fun but you know this is America's party and you guys are going to have a blast but anyway guys these are my tips for New Year's Eve 2020 here in Las Vegas okay guys I want to hear what you guys have to say about New Year's Eve, uh, whether you're coming here this year or next year or whatever your plan might be, let me know if you have any questions down below. Just leave a comment, give it a thumbs up, hit the bell button for notifications for our next videos that are coming out. But anyway, I want to hear what you have to say about New Year's Eve in Las Vegas 2020. Okay, guys, I'll see you in the next video. Cheers.